Hey everybody. Hey, I'm sitting here December 30th right after lunch. Uh, day before New Year's Eve, two days before New Year's Day. All the talk has been uh, about New Year's. The changes, thank goodness 2020 is going, welcome 2021. And uh, positive things to come. Didn't get a question this week that I wanted to talk about. Because um, I did want to say something about New Year's. And what's happened in 2020, all the bad and the terrible, um, and looking forward to all the good and the new. And it reminded me of a verse in a book of Philippians in the Bible, chapter 3. Philippians is written by the Apostle Paul. And Philippians was written while he was in jail, not really the best of places. And it's a really, really interesting book because in this book he talks a lot about joy. And uh, it's just, it's funny when you think on that. In jail, he's talking about joy. So, um, just got dripped on. So, in verse, in chapter 3, excuse me, verses 12, 13, and 14, I want to read this to you. Because this kind of sums up what I want you to focus on for New Year's and the coming year. Uh, I do not mean that I am already as God wants me to be. I have not yet reached that goal. But I continue trying to reach it and to make it mine. Christ wants me to do that. Which is the reason he made me his. Brothers and sisters... I know that I have not yet reached that goal, but there is one thing I always do, forgetting the past and straining towards what is ahead. I keep trying to reach the goal and get the prize for which God called me through Christ to the life above. Forgetting the past, or how do you put it? And straining toward what is ahead. See, there are things that we wish were different, wish we would have done different. Um, and I don't want to say we forget the past, but don't have regrets about it. Don't dwell in it. Embrace it and strain for what's ahead in 2020, 2020, in 2021. We've made it through 2020. And there was some bad, there was also some good, I've talked about that before. But 2020, 20, boy, this is going to be a terrible year. I can't say 2021. But 2021, forget the past and strain for what's ahead. As we start to live more like God designed us to live in Jesus my thought for today, I wish you all a really happy new year and uh, and I guess that's it. Just enjoy this new year guys. Keep up with us, FL Compass Church, on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, we share our thoughts on Parlor and for all the latest updates, www.flcompasschurch.org. Happy New Year, everyone.